welcome to our empty house tour. Excited. We got here last night you guys and I wanted to film this right when we got here, but then it was all Gloomy so I figured mm -hmm. I'd wake up right and early this morning Get some bright natural light in there to show you everything. Of course. It's like cloudy. Yeah. but I feel like it'll still be really good mm -hmm. It's still bright. okay. Let's go. I can't wait <laughs> to show right. you everything. We're out front and It's our front door <laughs> So let's head in I feel like we're on like 80 or mm -hmm. like <laughs> <laughs> Here's the living room. Very open. I don't know how to commentate yeah. on this. I feel like a realtor. We got fireplace, TV, some shelves, which are really nice. Show them the balloons. Gretchy, Brody, Matt. <laughs> so sweet. Back to spam. Got us those. So that's like. Living room, let me show them like what we're gonna do with each. So we'll probably do like chairs up there. I'm thinking like big comfy chairs. Like this, we think of as like a sitting area, I think in the front. Have it all ready for Brody. And then we're gonna do like big rug, our sectional coffee table. Probably had a stage, just like some chairs up here too, which is pretty cozy, so maybe we'll do that. We got a fireplace going, just so nice. Mm -hmm. That was one of the best things, like you literally just switch the switch on the side and we come to find out very quickly that it's very warm. Like it actually heats up the place. We're like, who do we have a fireplace on? And then over here, we'll probably do, well for now, we'll do our current little circle table. We'll probably could do a bigger one. So I feel like we'll swap that out and do like the white chair we have and stuff. A little like sitting area. I can see like a pendant light over it. We'll see. My mind just thinks <laughs> of all the changes I want to make, but obviously it's like beautiful as is. Kitchen. And it's great. It's everything so bright and fresh in here. Also, if they didn't see, I don't know when I would have showed, like our closing vlog, mm -hmm. we have all the painters in here. We actually painted the entire house before we moved in. And it was totally fine before, like it's like a relatively new house. It was kind of like beige, tan down here, some blue, like our primary bedroom was blue, bathroom was blue. Um, but yeah, we just got this like fresh coat of Simply white, I bet you it would be mm -hmm. a really fresh start. And I think it'll be really nice to like decorate on. You could do like some fun wallpaper or whatever. I also have dreams of new countertops, <laughs> which these are obviously great. They're like nice granite countertops, but I just love the look of like that light countertop, you know? This is the kitchen. We're still finding out new things. I realize how little attention to detail I paid when you're looking at it. Like last night, we get in and we're we're like, oh, we don't have a garbage disposal. Like little things like that we didn't even notice. Um, but I also feel like there's like more storage in here than I thought, especially with the island. Mm -hmm. Like I never had an island yeah, storage like that. We'll make it work. We had a huge pantry in our apartment. This is like probably like our pantry now, but we're, we're also saying it's like a good thing because we, we won't pour fill it. <laughs> so much food that we don't need. So, fridge. Like I don't know how much to, <laughs> um, detail to show. We have some food in here. Yeah. Um, basement, I guess I don't have to show that because... It's just a basement. Yeah, it's just like a small <laughs> little basement. It's unfinished. Yeah. We'll just like use that for storage. Washer, um, dryer. I feel like we're in like apartment in Boston. Yeah. We're always stacked like that. But like pretty convenient. Oh, let's show the garage. Garage over here. With all our stuff. <laughs> <laughs> we moved in most of this. Actually, all of this we like moved ourselves in our cars. Mm -hmm. And then our moving truck comes in a couple hours. So that's why we're filming like empty house tour before they get here, before it's literally chaos. So that's that. Then a little tour. We have a little closet in here. This is like the most capey thing <laughs> about the house, I feel. See, Which, these are something else I've noticed. I feel like Which we'll probably it. get switched out. Yeah, knowing. No, but I think it's like sweet. Yeah. Maybe I need to keep some Cape Charm and not get too crazy mm -hmm. white modern on it. This, I have so many dreams for this bathroom. Like, obviously, beautiful as it is, very nice. But you, they know the vibe of like a really funky, cool, like yeah. powder bath. Like, the guests 
kind of bath that everyone mm -hmm. comes to downstairs with like wallpaper and cool lights and colors and yeah so i have um, <laughs> like of course it's like moving ready but i'm like wait yeah <laughs> i want to change it's not to your standards <laughs> no, no 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 it's so beautiful i literally love this home that's why we bought it <laughs> but just like little like obviously in here too i feel like even new countertops would make such a big difference but i love like the white like everything's still so nice and new oh and backsplash that's something else I noticed on the Cape. Mm. A lot of homes don't have backsplash, which is so funny to me because every home I've ever been in an apartment has always had backsplash. So that's like something little. I'm like, oh, mm -hmm. I think we want that. Maybe that's like a beachy thing to not. Obviously, as you'll see too, like the number one thing I feel like that drew us to this house, at least me, is all natural light. Like it's actually insane on a sunny day. You don't have one light on in this place and you're like, wow, it's so bright. It's the best thing ever. It's going to be amazing for like, filming and pictures and stuff and there's just windows on every wall and it's like <laughs> my dream okay up this way i guess we should show them these yeah. railings everyone comments on everyone loves them it feels like a boat yeah <laughs> and and you hate them so <laughs> no, 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 no no i don't they're very nautical and they've been growing on me they're very like capey i'm seeming like such a brat <laughs> we'll, we'll see how long those last <laughs> okay second floor this is probably my favorite bathroom out of all of them. I don't know why. I really like these lights. I think they're like charming. Obviously, I like the lighter countertops. There's like different counters in like every bathroom and stuff. Lots of storage in the bathroom, which mm. is nice. Because that was like the one downside of this house where like there is very little like closet storage and stuff. Really nice. Like subway tile, simple. Love it. We'll get like a cute mm -hmm. shower curtain. This is funny. This actually is here because the bathtub over the yeah. floor before. And there was like wood damage like through the ceiling like all this stuff so i think they put this here to like prevent it help also. <laughs> yeah. take that down, but that's that okay i guess we can save our primary bedroom mm -hmm. this is like the second guest bedroom the best one this is a little bit bigger has like these big windows in the front and as much as i could make this like desk like mm -hmm. couch like office for me i really want two full guest rooms because i just never see a time when it's you and me here, quite honestly. Since we're on Cape Cod, <laughs> like our friends and family are gonna be here all the time. So I just want like two guest rooms for them. You gotta pull it hard. Don't think you have to down. Lovely, perfect, all you need. I'll probably be filling these up. Uh, yeah. So. Sorry, guests. You can live out of a suitcase. <laughs> okay. Then, a little third guest bedroom. Does it like, how small does it look on camera? Does it look like, mm. like it's like pretty teeny. Yeah, it's a little. But I feel like it's gonna be very cozy in here. Yeah. And I just have a vision, cause this is how it was staged, like how it was before too. It's just like bed, two little nightstands. They honestly had a teeny little dresser right here. Mm -hmm. I don't even know if we'll find them that Yeah. There. But I feel like this will just be cozy. I can see my mom in here, cause it's yeah. like away from her. And they have a little closet too, over there. Yeah. Maybe this would be nice. <laughs> yeah. And it's like, you know, to be more quiet away from it, a little darker, whatever. So, we love. Come with me. All right. <laughs> Do you want me to take over, camera? You've been following no, I forever. <laughs> I can like start showing things. More windows. We love the primary. Wow. Look at this. You, like, give them a whole overview of all the windows and everything. Yeah, this was like really special too. When we were looking at the house and we were like, oh yeah, this is it. Obviously the front little deck is so nice. We'll sit out here, drink coffee. Mm -hmm. <laughs> All the angles. <laughs> we lost our cameraman, but <laughs> look at the lighting in this room. This is my dream. I know I'm gonna be waking up so early in the mornings because it's so bright in here. There's windows everywhere and obviously this like huge one in the front. So happy. So this is where we slept last night. Like we got in at like, you know, 7.30 like I said, I wanted to do the empty house work. Just wait till you guys see it. <laughs> the third floor is like so magical. But yeah, we just like wanted to have the good lighting this morning set up real quick last night on air mattress actually because our real mattress gets delivered today but yeah this is probably how we will 
orient our bed. We also could have it this way. We're trying to see if it would fit like that. Then we'd have more room for like a dresser over here. But yes, I have to tell you guys, perfect time to shout out the sponsor of this video. Thank you so much, Brooklinen, for working with me on this video. It is a dream because their sheets are my most favorite sheets in the whole entire world. Obviously, it's on air mattress right now, but what's so exciting, you guys, is we're actually upgrading to a king bed. We've never had a king before. Always left on a queen. So we got king sheets, duvet cover, everything like that for our king mattress that gets delivered today. I literally can't wait. And I can insert footage right here. I took these out of the box last night, threw them in the washer and dryer, and they smell so nice and fresh. And these literally are the softest, nicest sheets in the world. I've always gotten the Lux Hardcore Bundle because you save 25% with like their bundle. Has like duvet cover, sheet set, extra set of pillowcases, and and they literally are just like buttery soft. I can't, it's like the Lux Sateen fabric and you guys need. If you are in the market for new bedding, if you're getting a new bed, cannot recommend enough. There's also over 20 patterns to choose from and like different colors. And I could really see like a funky, fun, print for one of the guest rooms like i want to be fun here i don't want to just be beige boring all white you know i want it to still feel like coastal or so close to the beach like cape cod you know so i could definitely see like a fun pattern um for one of the guest rooms and obviously i just love like a classic white looking bed so that's kind of the vibe we'll have more like throw blankets and everything to go with but seriously you guys i cannot recommend their, especially the sateen fabric, because that's my favorite, Lux Hardcore Bundle enough, like the best bedding of all time. And I know right now, Brooklinen is having their Memorial Day sale for 20% off through May 31st. I'll have Brooklinen linked down below. It's a perfect time to stock up on your favorites. You guys know I also love, we have all their towels, bath mats, robes, like everything like that, so good too. But obviously their sheets just have my heart. So whether you're gonna stock up on your favorites, try them out if you've always wanted to, 20% off through May 31st. Don't forget, literally the best sleep of your life, I promise, because last night when we had, I can't even tell you how magical it was to take our fresh sheets out of the dryer, put them on our bed, cuddle up, curl in, curl up, cuddle up into bed, and it's like literally the best sleep of my life, even on an air mattress, that's how tired we are from moving, and of course we had like the softest sheets ever, so. Don't forget, 20% off through May 31st, okay? Especially if you're one of the DMs I always get being like, wait, what are those sheets that you have again that you love? Like, you guys always, after the fact, you're like, wait, I remember you talking about it, and now in the market for new sheets. What are those again? Brooklyn, always. Come on, we love that. So, primary bedroom, okay? Then, back here, we've got our closet, which I don't even want to show you. It's such a mess right now. <laughs> okay, so obviously, you just have, like, some random clothes and stuff in here. Also, Max, you seem like Crusher, we need to figure out a solution for this. So pretty much how the house is set up is this is the Wi-Fi, I believe. I don't know why it's always been set up in the primary closet. I think because it's on the second floor and since it's like a three-story house, the Wi-Fi will be good signal like on the first floor and third floor if it's on second. I don't really know. But I have, I have like so many renovation plans for everything. You guys are going to be like crushing, getting something ridiculous <laughs> because... I do want, but you guys, I'm, I'm sure you could be able to tell from this, like it's not even a small walk-in closet, I feel like it's a decent size, but how they have it set up with just like three hanging racks, the space could be utilized a lot better, I think we could all agree. So I think if someone comes in here, does some like shelving, drawers, whatever it is, it'll just, we'll be able to use it a lot better, especially because we've been thinking if our king bed is oriented this way, there really is not enough room for a dresser here or here. I don't think, like maybe here, but the current one we have is massive, so the only way it really would work in here is if the bed was this way and we had it here, but again, the bed's gonna be a king bed, so I don't really, I think it would take up the whole wall and it might like look funny, you know, but then the dresser would fit over there, so all that is to say, I would love to be able to have some drawers and stuff like that in here since I don't think we'll be having a dresser. Moving on from the scary closet, this will look a lot better hopefully next time you see it. Okay. Primary bath, woo! This has actually grown on me a lot because I feel like the first time I looked at the house, I was like, eh, not eh, like I love the house, <laughs> don't get me wrong. Also like I should say overall, I feel like what 
drew me to it so much. Obviously, all the natural light, but just like the best vibes. And obviously, I'm not gonna say exactly our location, but I will say that what I realized in the home hunting, home buying process is that location is everything and matters way more than I thought because I would see these beautiful new construction homes in the middle of nowhere, pretty much like not where we wanted to be. And I'm like, wait, well, this is like a deal breaker. And so then, like, this home in like one of my most favorite locations, I'll say, I'm like, yeah. Yeah, mm -hmm. this is like what I envisioned for my Cape Cod summer. You know what I mean? So this has grown on me a lot. I also, after the first time I saw it was like, of course there's windows everywhere in the house. I hate that there's no windows in the primary bathroom. There's literally two windows. Like, am I okay? I think I just didn't realize. Also the first time we came and saw it, we were in here for like 10 minutes. So I missed so many things. Anyway, all I'm trying to say is that I feel like we can make this better as well. <laughs> and I really don't like this. I love it for storage. Like I feel torn because this is so nice for storage, but it feels like it really breaks up the space and feels very like disjointed. Like if we're brushing our teeth in the morning, I won't even be able to like see Max, you know what I mean? <laughs> That's dramatic, but I don't know. So that might be coming out. I also just have, it. well, okay. The reason all this is in my head is because we saw so many homes and one of the homes we saw, but in a location I didn't want to be in was like everything I wanted on the inside. like the most perfect, perfect bathroom, like tiled, everything, just like such nice new construction and like a style that I really liked. So I kind of want to like recreate that here and do like a little version of that here. So I just feel like I can make it more me is what I'm trying to say. And like simple fixes. If you notice, there's like white cabinets everywhere in the bathrooms, kitchen, and the hardware is like nice and all. It's not really my favorite. So I feel like I could swap it out. I'm toying with the idea of gold. Like I love a gold hardware, especially in the kitchen, gold pendants, stuff like that. But then there's so much silver and like chrome in the house. Like the railings, would that like look weird with that? Then I don't know. And I don't want to take the Cape Cod quaint beach style out of the house because that's where we are and that's the vibe. But I feel like I could find a good blend of modern, bright, kind of like organic, what I like mixed with the beachy. What do you guys think? So that'll be like a fun project, but I'm talking about this forever. All of this is to say, love the bathroom. It's a great big bathroom. Actually way more storage than our last bathroom. bathroom I was even realizing last night, putting our stuff in here. And also what's growing on me is the shower. I really don't like this. <laughs> I like how the other one was just like plain white subway tile. I'm like literally complaining. You guys are gonna be like, you're a brat. No. I love this house, don't get me wrong. I'm just pointing out like little things I would change. But I love it and it's very nice and new. Also, shower's way bigger than I thought. Coming in here last night, I'm like, wait, I didn't know it went like way back here and has like a little bench and stuff. So yeah, really, really nice. And just being somewhere that's like clean and fresh and new is like everything to me because I just did not want to go into something where it was like a really big fixer up or I felt like it was like dirty or things were broken, like you know what I mean? So yes. We love, and now, hello cameraman. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna show them the third floor. Are you guys ready? This also, I'm saying this about every little thing about the house, but this really was like, okay, we're sold. Like this is it, like this is such a special spot. Okay, we're still trying to like toy with the idea of like, what are we calling this? Have we decided, honey? I think it's the third floor. Yeah, tons of my favorite railings. <laughs> they, I, he's, He's saying I don't like them, but they really have grown on me. Cause when I first saw them, I was like, wow, that's like unique. I just feel like I'm on a boat. They feel very like nautical, but they feel very like beachy. So I don't hate them. You guys, look at the water. This literally was like, okay, yep, mm-hmm. This is it. You can see the water from here. You can see it over there. <laughs> this is when I was like, Pinch me. I don't know if I said in the beginning of the video, but like saving best for last because what? Also, just look at the lighting everywhere in the house. I'm like, I bought this house for the lighting. <laughs> There's windows everywhere. But like being able to look out at the water is so peaceful. It literally smells like ocean breeze out front. It's just the best vibe ever. And I was getting really emotional. I think this will go up actually before like our moving vlog. I was getting so emotional in my feels being like, I never ever ever in a million years would have imagined that my first house could be like a beach house on Cape Cod because we're in like such a magical spot. I keep saying magical. It's just so special to me and the best vibes here. So I'm talking way too much now that I have lanes at the camera, but I'm thinking we're gonna do my white pullout couch right here. This is gonna be the best place for a guest to wake up and they see like the ocean and 
They can open the door and hear the waves. Oh my gosh, it's gonna be magical. Everything's magical. So I'm thinking that right there. There's actually so many bathrooms in this place. There's four bathrooms, two half, two full. And this is like so funny to me, this little thing. This is like a really teeny powder bath, which honestly we're like, we kind of love this because we really see this as like a fun hangout spot, especially like at night with friends. I mean, this is like set up for that already. There's a um, wine fridge cooler, I guess you could say. Max is already stocking it up, of course. And we just see this as like us chatting, hanging out really over here. All the windows, like playing cards. This is also like very beachy, Cape Cod, love it, but might be slip covering in white. <laughs> I can't with myself. I'm sure you guys are like, oh no, that doesn't clarify. No color. <laughs> no, don't worry. It's gonna be great. You guys are gonna love it. But this is, yeah, one of the best spots in the house. Like, come on, let's be real. And Max and I just sat here last night, played cards, and it was like the best first night in here. Also, there's like little decks everywhere. Out there, out here, to just like look out at the water. I'm trying to like, I mean, you guys can like see everything, but yes, <laughs> I wanna be aware of like our privacy and everything. So, this is the third floor. I guess the last thing I can show you guys, because I pretty much have shown it all, is the backyard. So, let's go. Do we feel like we had an accurate Showing, sorry, I didn't give you like whiplash. There's also cute little like circle mirrors. Mirrors, am I okay? Windows everywhere, it's very like beachy. Okay, let's head back down. We'll see, let me show you, we showed you all of this. Happy I got to do this before the movers got in because I knew it would just be like craziness. Yeah. Wow, I can't believe we showed pretty much everything. Oh, also I wanted to say our Realtor gave us this freaking, like, I was gonna say painting picture when we moved in, and it was so sweet. It literally fit perfect <laughs> right here. We were like, amazing. Actually, there was also a nail already in the wall. We were like, this couldn't be more perfect. Yeah. So, yes. Showed you all of this. These were actually two. From the day that we closed, we had a big, like, champagne celebration. So that's that. Okay, let's head out back. How about you talk now? I'll be the camera woman. Me right. chat. It's probably your favorite. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Gas fire pit. Yeah, yeah. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Come with me. Blue marbles that you don't like. <laughs> Which no, you know what? The previous sellers, the husband and wife, they, also they were back here and she was like, she literally said to me, can you promise me one thing? Will you change those out? I always hated them. Yeah. I'm like, you get me, girl. But no, actually, especially right now in the sunlight, they really don't bother me. They're cute. Yeah. What do you guys think? Comment down below. Max is like, what, do we put like logs in there? But it's a gas fireplace. Like, do we get new colored marbles? Do we get stones? Like, what do you put in there? I didn't realize that this was built in when we know, first like, looked at this. <laughs> 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 Inside joke. Okay, but yeah, this was, yeah, I didn't even realize. I thought it was something they could like take with them, you know, but it's really nice that it's built in. Got some grass for Brody. Also, what's really nice is like no one can build back here. So we're gonna have like our peaceful privacy, which will be really, really nice. This is gonna be so good for Brody. He already loves it back here. Okay. Oh, is this where we're gonna get a host? Yeah, maybe. To hose off Brody I'll after he goes swimming. Which I'm so excited about. I really haven't like looked in here. Yeah. Great. Come on we in. both fit. This is great. Plenty of room. Yeah. Which Max loves because obviously he grew up here. And you've always been an outdoor shower kind of guy. I have. And I haven't since I never had one. But Whoa. now maybe I will. Yeah, like he lucky we had one. Oh, this is gonna be so good for Brody. Also, these I believe are hydrangeas, which are like all over and right now. Oh my gosh, wait! Why do they look kind of like dead? Are they growing in or are they? What's happening? They are dead. Because I'm like, why aren't they bloomed yet? And they're like, don't worry, these will like bloom and look so beautiful. Right now, they're just kind of like sticks. But I think these are supposed to be. <laughs> Hopefully, our landscapers can assess the situation. They're gonna be like, no, you gotta rip all those out. Because these also, there were um trees all along here oh yeah there are those ones like our neighbors and they apparently didn't take we were told does that happen like died or something so they had to yank them out 
Aren't these, are these a part of the irrigation like sprinkler system? Yeah, it's the, uh, the drip line. <laughs> <laughs> to like water the plants essentially? Yeah. Which apparently we need since they're all dead, so. <laughs> we'll figure that out. Ah, I can't wait for Brody to get over here today and run around. Okay, now they're just here in construction because there's like construction going on. It's all happening. It's all happening. But yes, I also wish they could smell the smell in here. It smells so new and crisp. And also it's probably because it kind of smells a little bit like paint still. Yeah. It's like dry, but it just smells like fresh. Mm -hmm. It's kind of like how bleach or like uh, has that smell, but it doesn't smell like bleach. Or like Lysol, like it smells mm -hmm. like strong, like clean, but kind of good, like clean, like it kind of is like that in here. But yeah, did we like give them enough detail? I feel like we just ran by and we're like, I'm living sure, room. I'm sure they'll see plenty of it. And you're yeah, not coming along, <laughs> showing so. it everywhere. But like, I just know this is gonna be the best spot. Chilling yeah, on our couch. Oh, yeah, see there's like little windows everywhere. Huh. Don't even notice. And in front of the fireplace. It's just gonna be so good. Okay, I think this is it for the empty house tour. It's about to be filled with things. And yeah, we already showed you back oh, here. I know, now it's now the lighting's better for my video. Okay, let's, let's start it over. <laughs> from the top. <laughs> Wait, I'm actually so happy that the sun's coming out. It's getting nice. What is, I feel like I'm like missing details. If you guys have any questions about the house, comment down below. I'll let you know. Like I feel like I should have been like, we love the, you call this something else. I, ship lack. Ship I thought lack. it was ship lack. But your mom was calling it a different name. I think there's different names for this. Uh, it's all over the house and I love it. This is one beachy thing that I really love. I will not be changing. It's very beachy. Well, she was calling it something with a G I think. I don't know, he opened the door, so now you just hear the construction. But, oh, I guess lastly, I could tell you, I mean, you can see the floors with your own eyes, but um, we love that they had really nice hardwood floors in here. I want to say these are a red oak. Is that what it's called? I think that's what your mom was telling me. Um, I would love, like, a more wide plank bleached oak. That's just me. You guys know the vibe, like, the very, like, modern-looking ones. But those are also, like, very beachy, too. So I thought about, like, just how we painted everywhere before we got in. I thought about ripping out all the floors and, <laughs> and doing, but then I'm like, you know what? I'm, I, that's ridiculous to rip out all the floors just to do, like I would make the planks like a, like that thick, just like a little bit thicker than these and make them a little bit lighter. So it would be a very similar look. I'm like, that's a little nuts. And I need to chill with the changes because after we live in it for a while, I might be like, wait, I love, you know what I mean? Then you never know. That's like advice we were given. They're like, live in it for a while. See what you think. You might like change your mind. So yes. I'm gonna end off this video here. Hope you guys enjoyed the empty house tour. Mm. Love ya. Our humble abode. Can't wait <laughs> for all the vlogs to come. You guys can see the moving vlog, all the furniture coming in. And yeah. see you in my next video. See ya. Can't wait for the best summer yet. Bye. Yes, don't forget Brooklyn Inn. Link down below. Their sale is going through May 31st for Memorial Day. 20% off. Don't forget. Link down below.